Hey. Where am I? What is this I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clepted off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and to dry. And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo! It's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. 
Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time. Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Because, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. <coughs> See that? Fuck me. Just possible. look at that. Unacceptable. Inhuman. Sons of bitches. No. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog. A replaceable part. One Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks. Best you could hope for was to be a scav exterminator. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Don't think I care. What does interest me is why you're a clingy creep. I think we can work together, V. But your plans make no sense. Destroy Arisaka? I... I don't even know what that means. All in good time. Your goal is to bury Arisaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. I'd be right. Can't really argue with you there. V. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? John, Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. 
If I need Johnny. your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you. We'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him walk. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. My witness, B. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until. Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you... But you can't ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. Is a price on your head. I do you a favor now. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself Raki. Oda, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. 
and your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. No way this is gonna work. Mm, yet. We walk away with a small measure of success. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see that parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig -Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only, Only what, what I, I can surmise, surmise from, from what, what I see on TV. TV. Yorinoba, Yorinoba is his puppets green at, at the cameras, cameras and, and he insists insist that everything is under control. control. But, but the, the wider, wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why is that a concern? I'm just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I, I apologize. apologize. That, that came, came off wrong. wrong. I am... I, I am simply, simply not, not used to such questions. questions. People, People like, like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Understanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite koei desu. 
Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hide now in Night City, and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Know you well? A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time.
I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Hey, to interrupt, but... Oh, perfect timing. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? Hey! His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Yorinobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, that running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. Watch yourself! Uh. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Control yourself, Bendejo! Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work, I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. Two-bit thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Yeah, sure. Just walk right through me. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. 
I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Bridge we might cross, but only might, we'll see. Glad we're on the same page. You never know what a dog's thinking. Might be the same thing. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things are even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him... Got enough on my plate as it is. I'll let you handle that. So I shall. Cook! Louder! Louder! I have decided to... You already know that. Of our In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle the between himself and the complete power. The they surrendered it to him. Tell me that. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, Conscience could also come into play, assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Time for some reconnaissance. Wait for my call.